And joining me in the studio now is Mr. Matthew Schistler. He's the CEO of Cord Blood America Incorporated, stock symbol CBAI. Matt, good to see you again. Hey, Don. Good to see you. Now, Matt, um, we've had you on the program before. We're currently uh, covering the company. Uh, let's start by just giving us the, the basic reiteration of what the company does. Yeah, just for the new viewers and investors, Cord Blood America, we privately store umbilical cord blood stem cells for families. What that means is that families pay us to store the stem cells of their, their children. When they're born, we collect the stem cells from the umbilical cord for use for future potential future use in battling diseases such as cancers and leukemias. You know, it's interesting. We've mentioned this before. Uh, um, my um, my daughter turned eight a couple of right. weeks ago, and when she was born, my wife and I were not presented this option uh, in year 2000. Now, I know that the company has undertaken uh, an education program here in 2009 to change that. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, it, we just. To to tell you what we're doing, let me just go historically what we've done. Historically, we educated families through the, our uh, relationships with health insurers in, in a few select cities. And that got to certain families that had the health insurance plans that you know, we were able to educate for. What we decided in 2009 was that it was time to start the conversation. And what that means is, you know, what I get, the comment on a daily basis is, you know, we hear all this news about stem cells or stem cell companies, stem cell stocks, research. What does that really mean to me? And so what Core Blood America decided to do was to, to, like I said, start the conversation, create a dialogue that we talk about stem cells that every day, uh, un within an everyday understanding, so that people know what stem cell research and development means to them and their families. Okay, so the business model in a nutshell is uh, parents are paying you to privately collect and store the umbilical cord blood, which contains the, uh, the stem cells. Uh, you've said before in the program, you know that you can keep them cryogenically intact for 19 years, because that's the oldest sample that there is. That's correct. Uh, scientists have said much longer, but you'll say 19 years. That's correct. Um, what, what do you charge? I mean, what's the revenue stream? It's, um, it's approximately $2,000 at the time of birth, and that includes um, collection, processing, storage, and also the, the medical shipment, because it's, it's we use a medical courier to ship the stem cell sample, sample from hospital to lab. Okay. And then it's $125 a year. So okay. there's an you know, upfront cost is all really all the lab cost. Okay. And then there's a year-over-year -year lab fee. How many samples are you currently storing approximately? A little over 20,000. Over 20,000? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, you had a press release this week. I know you're probably pretty excited about it as CEO. You retired a significant amount of debt. Tell us about that. Yeah, we did. You know, in, from January 1st until today, Don, we've, we've retired over a million dollars in long-term debt. A million dollars? A million dollars, yeah. And so it was very, very important for our shareholders to understand. I, I said this on your show in 2008, and I've said it you know, early in 2009. The number one goal of 2009 is delever the balance sheet. You know, we have revenues, as everyone knows, and we are very, very close to being cash flow break even. We have some very healthy margins, but we took down a lot of debt to get where we are today. Without taking down that debt, we, we wouldn't be where we are. Right. Now's the time in, in the new administration to delever the balance sheet to really have a financially healthy company. I mean, we always have revenues, we always have nice margins, but we've got to get rid of the debts. And so we were very, very happy that we were able to do that in January. And it's going to be a continued focus throughout the rest of the year. Well, congratulations on that. Now, you mentioned the new administration. Uh, they're very bullish on stem cell research. And I guess before we talk about that, uh, I'll have you disclaim again, you know, the difference between what you do and what has been controversial about stem cells in the past. Yeah, we store umbilical cord blood stem cells. That's after the child is born. These are adult stem cells. The stem cells are collected from the umbilical cord blood. The, the baby's already being cleaned up after birth, and that's how we collect them. What the administration is, is proposing is federal funding for embryonic stem cell research. Now, we're not in the business of embryonic stem cell research. However, here's why it's important. Um, embryonic stem cell research will allow more therapies to get to market. Right now, stem cells are used to battle cancers and leukemias through the use of either bone marrow stem cells or cord blood stem cells. Mm -hmm. But we're very, very close to tackling diseases such as you know, di juvenile diabetes or Parkinson's, and that's why like Michael J. Fox is so adamant about stem cell research. You know, Don, we talk about the economy, we talk about money. The faster we can get stem cell therapies through trials approved by the FDA and commercialized, the more families will say, you know what, cancer and leukemia, we don't have a history of, but we do have a history of X. We should store the stem cells for our child in case X happens down in the future. And that's why it's very, very beneficial for Core Blood America. Well, there, I mean, I, I would have to say, if, if my wife and I were having children right now, new children, I should say, if she, if she was expecting, I can't think of a good reason not to collect and store uh, the baby's umbilical cord blood. Well, you and I are in violent agreement on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fact is, I, I can't think of a good reason not to either. It's a very, uh, very nice insurance policy to have. 
Um, and so it's just a matter of educating the families and get, getting the families a, a choice. And you know, states have, in recent recent times, the last couple of years, more states have put in legislation that it's requiring the OBGYN, the, the childbirthing doctors, to, to educate families on public donation of stem cells, private banking of stem cells, or discarding the stem cells. Because still today, Don, 96% of the samples at birth are th being thrown away as medical waste. Even if they're not privately banked, they could be used for public donation. Matt, about 30 seconds left, but I did want to ask you, is in the past we have talked about an aggressive acquisition strategy. I know in 09 you want to pay down debt. Is that going to temper the acquisition, or are you going to try to do both at the same time? We're trying to do both at the same time. In fact, I think we're, we're going to be even more aggressive than we were in 2009. Now, you know, we've got to be careful because we don't want to burden the shareholders with more debt. So we want to pay down debt, go after acquisitions that cash flow will service those debts on. Um, so it's kind of a fine line we walk, but we're going to be very, very aggressive in 2009. Fascinating interview. Once again, Cord Blood America, CBAI. For more information, call us right now toll free from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Matt, as always, thanks so much. Thanks, Don. Take care.